Hello everyone. Welcome to Computer Date. This is our first lesson of data communication and networking. What do you mean by communication? Communication means sharing of information. And what do you mean by data communication? It means exchange of data between two data communicating device or two communicating device devices like suppose A is a sender and B is a receiver now we can send data from A to B data means message through a transmission medium It may be wireless or through wire cable, cable wire. And most importantly, there should be a protocol in both sender and receiver. Why we need protocol? Protocol means set of rules. It means here if we use a encoding algorithm in receiver there must be a decoding algorithm or here is an encryption algorithm in sender there is also a in receiver end there is a decryption algorithm this type it, it means an agreement between sender and receiver now what do you mean by network Network means a set of node, set of node connected by links, connected by links and what is a node? Node means any communicating device, your PC is a node or a printer, there a node, A, B, C, D. and E. These are the nodes 1, nodes 2 in this way and these are the links. And network define the set of nodes connected through the links. Now we discuss line configuration. What do you mean by line configuration? Line configuration define how two or more communicating devices communicating devices attach to a link. It means how the nodes connected through a link. It may be categorized into point to point, and multi point configuration. For point to point,
there is a sender and a receiver. Sender sends any message and receiver send a acknowledgement message. It ensure that the sender sends the message received by the receiver. And for multipoint, there is a primary machine. This is a primary machine. And all the nodes connected to the primary machine. Suppose A, B, C, these are the nodes they are connected through the primary machine. Suppose A want to send data to C, at first it sent to the primary machine, then from primary machine it sent to receiver C. Means in multipoint there is a share link. This is the share link. It shared the link simultaneously. All the data communicate through the primary machine and if any of the nodes it injured, the whole network is faulted. Now we discuss the topology. What do you mean by topology? Topology define the way a network laid out it simply means structure of the network it is either logically or physically there is a five basic point or categories of topology that are at first mesh then star now the tree bus and ring these are these are the primary or basic topologies we starting from the mesh now in mesh topology all the nodes are connected to dedicated link dedicated link means A connected to all the links and this is dedicated if only to share this link for A to D, this link shared by only A to D. This is called dedicated link. Here, each of the node connected to another. So, A connected to all the nodes. This way, B connected to all the nodes. C is connected to all the nodes. And D and E also connected to all the nodes. The structure become this. For N node, if a mesh topology structure with n node there at most for a for each node suppose a is nth node so there must be n minus 1 port for for each node if there is n minus 1 node so if the topology have or is the system have total n nodes so n into n minus 1 total port number in this way if we have to find the number of links so a link shared to port so total number of links is n into n minus 1 that is total number of port and a link shared two ports so we divided by 2 if we want to get the number of links it is also the formula of the connected graph in the mesh topology, the advantage are
because it share a dedicated link so the communication is faster and also secure because only a link shared by both sender and receiver and if there is any fault suppose this link is faulty so a send the information through d or c or e so rest of the network work as properly so fault if fault occur network does not affect it and fault detection and isolation is very easy these are the advantages now we discuss the disadvantages of this network or topology disadvantages we show already the port number and cable number the number of wires and the number of ports are huge so huge varying next if we want to install a new node suppose we add a new node that is f in this topology and in this network so f have to connect it to all the nodes means it is very expensive also and it's difficult to install a new node or reconfigure it and it is also expensive now we are going to the next topology that is star topology so in star topology all the nodes are connected to a central controller that is hub all the nodes are connected to a hub in this way now if we have to send information from a to b at first we have to send information in the hub and the hub set the route to the b in this way data communicate advantage of this network is installation of new node is very easy if we want to install a new node connect to the central controller that is hub so installation of new node is easy now the term robustness what is robustness suppose if this link fail only this node is affected but the rest of the network work as properly so it is robust because it cannot hamper the rest of the network now easy identification of fault if any fault occur it easily identified now what are the disadvantage the number of nodes depend on the port of the hub exactly so it depend 
on port of hub and we can not use this in larger distance and it is not secure as mesh now we are coming to the tree topology in this tree topology we are connecting with a half all the nodes are connected as previous as star but also a half is connected to the central half this is a central half or active half but it is a passive half passive half also contain the nodes as we show in the star topology here this is another half this also contain the nodes and what is the difference between a active half and a passive half active half contain router as well as repeater and passive half only contain router router means passive half only define the routes of the destination and repeater what is repeater do repeater at first extract information from digital in digital uh, signal so information extraction then regenerate data from it regenerate data and then send it to another machine or send it to receiver now we we'll move on to bus topology in bus topology there is multi point connection till now we only seen the dedicated connection here in bus topology we use a multi point connection that means this is called backbone line and all the nodes connected through a drop down line to this backbone line so this are node a b c and d they are all connected to the backbone line through a drop down line now and this is a primary machine as we show in multi point connection here if a fault occur suppose signal sent from a to c here is a direction of the signal if fault occur there is a back propagation and what do you mean by back propagation back propagation means if fault occur then if the signal coming from this direction but it propagate or reflect to the origin of the signal original 
origin of the signal origin direction of the signal so it propagate to this direction so noise occur and we lost the original um, signal so in this topology disadvantages are Inform first of all information not secure because all are using this backbone line so then it is difficult detect and isolate if fault occur so difficult to detect or detection or isolation of fault to detect fault now we we'll move on to ring topology in ring topology all the nodes are connected but in one way connection this links are one way suppose a want to send data to d but it can't send to this direction but via b c and then d so it is called ring topology there also exist dual ring in dual ring A can send data to B and also B can send data to A but a different link. Here also B can send data and C can also send data but different links. In this way, if a fault occur in only ring so you can see the whole network is damaged but if fault occur in dual ring this connection are connected and signal propagate through it so rest of the network does not affect it now we we'll move on to the hybrid topology this is not a basic topology but a mixture or amalgam of all the topologies we can see before here a central hub can connect it to any of the topology suppose it is a star topology so structure is like that suppose is connected to a bus in this way it also connected to a ring so it is in this direction because it is a single ring in this way now the next topic we discuss that is transmission mode what do you mean by transmission mode transmission mode define the direction of signal flow between two linked devices means direction of the signal that this can be ensured by transmission mode it 
have three basic type that is simplex half duplex and full duplex now at first for simplex this is one directional means suppose you were watching TV and change the channel by a remote so it is a sender and your TV receiving the signal it always a one directional because your TV cannot cannot get back a signal to the remote so it is always one directional means a sender always send a signal to the receiver only but this is not possible then half duplex in half duplex for example you have a walkie talkie and there is a receiver with another walkie talkie so it is A and this is B two persons suppose person A sent data to person B in T1 time means it is sender and it is a receiver and if B send some information to A this is in T2 time because they are not send the information simultaneously so both send and receive information but not at a same time now full duplex full duplex means this is suppose a sender and this is a receiver So sender can send information. Also, the, the both are data communicating device. It also may be receiver, and this is also can use as a sender. So means both data communicating devices send and receive information simultaneously. Both send and receive information simultaneously